You don't trust me to do my job? We all formulate questions based on the answers we want to hear. And how exactly do you reformulate, have you screwed around? Did you know she's been trying to get pregnant? Yes. After you got so freaked about the sick babies a while ago, I figured that was your thing. But you've never been prescribed folic acid. You can't lose a baby if you've never been pregnant. You pulled my medical records? You coughed the other day. I was concerned. You were curious, like an eight-year-old boy with a puzzle that's just a little too grown up for him to figure out. Tomato, tomato. Calvin's a photographer. The broken bulbs were props. The glasses from 1930s fluorescence. Some of the bulbs are date stamped. Pre-World War II, fluorescent bulbs contained large amounts of beryllium. Beryllium dust inflames the lungs, they get rigid, the patient can't breathe. My father co-authored a paper on acute beryllosis. Phew. For a moment there, I thought you were smart. I didn't ask him to take the medicine. I asked you to give him the medicine. He hasn't had sex in over a year. He's lying. He knows what's at stake. We should start treating him for lymphoma right away. Maybe if we hit him hard and fast. Wilson! How long can you go without sex? How long can you go without annoying people? No, seriously. A week? A month? I'm not having an affair. I didn't say you were. Not in this conversation. We're talking about a patient. Oh, we should look the other way. Who's cutting with your patient? Dr. House. Dr. House has an emergency. We can't avoid it forever. Eventually, she'll die. You sure she doesn't have breast cancer? Have you read Moby Dick? It was a book? It was 10 years ago. 12. Obsession is dangerous. Only if you're on a wooden ship and your obsession is a whale. I think I'm in the clear. You do realize it's a metaphor. You do realize that the point of metaphors is to scare people from doing things by telling them that something much scarier is going to happen than what will really happen. God, I wish I had a metaphor to explain that better. If the pills around my life, I'd agree with you, but it's my leg that's busy calendaring what I can't do. You're in denial. Right. I never had an infarction in my leg. No dead muscle, no nerve damage. Doesn't even hurt. Actually, it kind of tickles. The chicks dig this better than the puppy. It's not just your leg. You want to get high. You're doing what, 80 milligrams a day? No, that's way too much. Moderation is the key, unless there's pain. It's double what you were taking when I hired you. Because you're twice as annoying. No feeling, no wiggling. Bad news is John Henry's back where he started. The good news is Hamilton looks bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not whether you win or lose, it's whether the other guy loses. What's the first thing we put him on? Steroids for the pneumonia. And we'll put him back on them, give him 24 hours, see what happens. His lungs aren't great. It might cause another respiratory collapse. Sure, hope not. Too much like that lawyer. And get an MRI. You already got one. And an MRI. Well, obviously something is different now. Do it again. Let's Chase, take care of the scan. Cameron, put him on the steroids. Absolutely. So now we can schedule the reconstruction. Absolutely not. Your test proved you wrong. We found exactly what I predicted we'd find. Swelling means there's increased pressure. You get a gold star of David for proving, yes, this kid has a big head, and big heads cause pressure. It doesn't explain the liver. Too much acetaminophen does. JRA explains all of it, including the liver. One theory is better than two. You treat with steroids. If you're wrong, steroids are going to mess with his immune system, put off his surgery for months. You really want to lose this argument in front of the camera? I'll speak to the father. What's it mean? It means the right side of his brain is always sucked. It means it's not relevant to what's going on now. Wow, then it's autoimmune. Yeah. The question is, what do we do about it? Most likely ones we can fix. Polyarteritis nodosa, Takayasu, or sarcoid. I'll start treatment. Not what I was talking about, but yeah, you do that. His alien abduction story, the level of detail is well, I don't know where he gets it from. The parents say he doesn't watch sci-fi, he doesn't read comic books. Great! You do any of that medical stuff we talked about? Upper and lower endoscopies were clean. So, it's a simple bleeding disorder. No, blood tests were all normal. And he clotted in six minutes. So, it's a simple bleeding disorder, and you screwed up the test. I didn't screw up the test. So, it's a UFO. Unidentified flowing orifice. Either you screwed up the test, or I screwed up my analysis of this case. If you screwed up, I don't have to cry myself to sleep. It's a simple bleeding disorder. Foreman, redo the test. How could I screw up a simple bleeding time test? Maybe you were abducted and lost time. Oh man, why does that sound so familiar? You think it's because I said it an hour ago? That it was a dumb thing to say. Now it's smart. She's got the rash, so we know she's unusually susceptible to allergic reactions. So that's what brought her in. Probably the peanut butter in her sandwich. Stick test was negative for peanuts. That's because you foolishly tested her while she was lying down. Exercise-based anaphylaxis? I think that requires exercise. When her throat closed, they just got done eating. Not even competitive eating. And getting robbed. Always gets my heart rate up. 
You want to paralyze Emma Sloan's baby? Let me guess. Cameron. Cameron and Chase both had their concerns. No, Cameron had concerns. Chase just agreed with her because he didn't want to lose his all-access pass to her love rug. They're sleeping together? If by sleeping together you mean having sex in the janitor's closet. Here? No, the janitor's closet at the local high school. Go, Tiger Cats! Do you have one of those camera phones? Because I got a MySpace account. I will deal with them after I deal with you. Oh, come on. Let's gossip some more. I'm sure she's into bondage. Except for the supposed pain in his joints, none of the other symptoms he's complaining about are currently evident. Besides low potassium, probably caused by him overhydrating after working out. His blood work's all normal. Low potassium could also probably be caused by the experimental vaccines and antichemical warfare pills he was given before he deployed to Iraq. Not to mention the fact that whole country is littered with hundreds of tons of radioactive shrapnel from depleted uranium munitions. <laughs> he go to medical school in France. There's no trace of uranium in his urine. He was given the vaccines in meds two years ago without any allergic or adverse reaction. Has he ever done any modeling? We forgot to ask. We should send his urine to the University of Leicester. There's a professor there who's developed a more advanced screening technique for uranium. The levels are too low for us to detect. They're way too low to cause any damage. Where are you going? This way. House. Bad news. Look at you. Couldn't have sent Cameron down here into this air-conditioned hallway to deliver the bad news. Jack seized again, but his blood was clean, completely drug-free. So he just happened to have a seizure at the exact time that we stuck him in a sauna. It's not a coincidence. He's still seizing every few hours whether we stick him in a sauna or not. Oh, my God. Why are you using that? I've had it for years. No, that's, that's going to make your shoulder hurt. You need one of these. He's a doctor. Is he still infection free? I'm sure not for long. My point being that something other than those infections caused these seizures it means there's something in his head. Scan him. We scanned him. Well, that was then. This is not then. Kid keeps changing. Scan him again. Where is Cameron? Biznich. How long are you going to waste your time? I'm so glad we're walking somewhere. Another 60 feet, and this conversation is over. You guys are out of this program. Cameron will find somebody, Chase will find eight somebodies, and you'll be alone. 30 feet. You'll date, and you'll date. It's for the ultimate Darwinian. You have to fight for everything. Anybody else will just slow you down. Yeah. I'm still with her, aren't I? Yeah. I can only imagine it's because she hasn't given you an excuse to break up, and you don't have the guts to recognize your own reality. What would you have learned if she'd said yes? A lot about bondage. Busy for me, but not for you. She's not interested in the play qua play. She's interested in you. No, I'm not getting sucked into the vortex of your insanity again. Don't pass me notes in class. Don't tell me to ask her to the prom. You cannot see her socially. You're leading her on. I'll consider that after I take her to the Hockney exhibit. On Thursday. See, she is busy. It's not a date. She enjoyed the play. I enjoyed her enjoying the play. The woman works hard. It's nice to see her relax. So all this enjoying is an act of charity. I'm keeping the receipts for tax purposes. Did you miss the part where the patient lost consciousness? El Dopa? You're not waking, Kyle. You're waking his father. I commend your observational skills. You have no reason to think any amount of drugs will wake a man from a coma. Vegetative state, much easier. This guy's no Terry Shabo. His brain's all airy, he moves around, his muscles are barely atrophied. He's just waiting for a fairy tale kiss. After I do that, I'll stick a needle in him with some mahjong tiles. Male menopause doesn't explain the blue vision. Blue vision isn't a symptom, it's a side effect of Viagra. It's right there on the label, which I'd have no reason to have read, except that I'm a doctor. He's not then, taking Viagra. You mean he didn't tell you he was taking Viagra? I don't care how sick he is, trust me. He still thinks he's got a shot. Menopause causes temperature swings, limpness. Limpness causes pills. Pills cause the blues. He's presenting no other signs of premature aging. Aging's not the only cause. He said that he's got burns on 54% of his body. You sure it's not 55%? Burns to his genitals could cause testicular trauma. Which could in turn cause... Run a hormone panel. It comes back positive, pump it full of testosterone, and send him home. Stop following me. 